Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of November karma reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love, peace, and happiness. Welcome, welcome back. You guys rock. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to everybody here. Please remember that when it comes to a coffee cup, tea cup, pendulum, any and all types of intuitive readings, tarot, oracle, it's important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages. Only take what resonates as you choose. Leave what does not resonate behind as it may benefit somebody else. You can always um, forward it to them. Okay, share it with them and I do appreciate that. All right, so we're sending love and light, prayers and blessings to everybody here. Exercise your free will when it comes to all readings and advice, okay? Always go to God first and foremost. Always go to Heavenly Father. Keep Him close. Keep Him number one. He got you. He's with you. Turn to your angels, your healers, your spiritual teams and families, your guides. They guide you. They help you. They bless you. They hug you. They're sending love and blessings and prayers your way. Pray for them. Keep God first and foremost. The most important thing we'll ever do is build that relationship right with God. That's what we're here to do to serve. Trust and believe in yourselves. You're worthy. You can do it. And Taurus, do what's best for you and your families at all times, okay? Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are so wonderful about helping me grow my channel. Thank you so much for the support. You are very much appreciated. Please check that description box for the services that I offer. Just email me if you would like to book anything. And as far as opportunities and different things I have going on in the description box, Get in where you fit in. Bless yourself with scholarship grant opportunities and stuff like that for businesses. Help yourself step by step, day by day. Start so that you guys can finish and reach that finish line. Okay? And if you see that information doesn't resonate for you in your state or city, do not give up there. Find out if there's a program like that where you reside because most likely there is. All right? Keep looking. Keep digging. Keep going. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. This is... The mid-month karma reading, it gets deep. If you feel like the subject matter is too sensitive, please feel free to click off. But please remember, I do these readings for healing. Of course, I'm ordained by God to do these readings, and I'm always happy to serve him at all times. These readings give a lot of people healing and confirmation. It's also a way of like preparing you guys for what's happening, what's going on, in case things happen, because they will happen. It's going to come in. You'll understand it. And then... It's also a reminder that they did not get away with hurting and betraying you. Before we jump in, I want to start by saying happy Thanksgiving for any and everybody who celebrates, eats so much pie and dinners, desserts, all your meats, your cheeses, and your cook-offs, your dishes. Enjoy the food with your family, the time, the laughter, the energy. Keep the vibration high, stay safe, and have fun. And for those who don't celebrate, do something fun for yourself. Spoil yourself, treat yourself a little bit. And for your family, this is the season to be jolly, to be cheerful, to spread love, okay? We need that all year long, especially this season, okay? And every year. All right, let's jump into the reading for those who decide to proceed. So the overall energy is you guys are not sacrificing yourself for love anymore. You guys have made major sacrifices, major changes. Some of you guys maybe moved residences or um, cities or something like that for a distant love. Some of you guys um, put certain things on hold on the back burner, maybe your education, having kids or putting kids, you know, first and career second, something like that. You, you guys made major changes for love, for the name of love, because you guys are really good hearted people. You guys have good hearts and you feel like a lot of people played you and you feel like those sacrifices that you made were like in vain. You feel like it was... It wasn't appreciated, okay, because so many people did play you and play on your emotions. You know, these narcissists see good people as weak. But see, that's that's a testament to their destructive character. They don't appreciate good. They don't appreciate love because they don't love themselves. These people usually hate themselves, and it's the saddest thing. They took it out on you. Just know that your sacrifices mean a lot to God because that showed your true heart, your character, your caring and loving nature. And it also exposed these fakes as well. Okay. And I know you guys love your kids and stuff. You feel like they were definitely worth it, but you may have done things differently timing wise, but because you loved him or you loved her, 
and you are truly in it for the long haul, the long run, you willingly made these sacrifices. You're not doing it anymore. A lot of you guys are not even open to love at this time, romantically speaking, or you're not dealing with a lot of people. You are putting them on a the back burner or not on the burner at all. You're not dealing with a lot of people. You're not letting people in or on your list. You guys are focused on your needs, your wants, your wishes, your desires. And it's not being selfish. I feel like you guys are being selfless. You guys helped everybody else. And now it's time for you. People who hurt and betrayed you, somebody is going to the hospital. They maybe end up riding in an ambulance. You guys may be calling emergency services for them. These people are sick. And I feel like you know this. If you've seen people who hurt you, you know that their body don't look the same. Even the illnesses you knew that they had prior to them um, exiting your life, you see them very different. Like you see their bodily changes. And I want to say, excuse me, if my voice sounds a little bit different, I've been battling some allergies and people not wanting these messages out. And then my voice is also being overused. So the combination is here. So excuse me if I sound a little raspy or get a little squeaky or sound a little off. But anyway, somebody's going to the hospital. They're sick. They're not healthy. Um, something, so I'm hearing something cannot be reversed for some of them. It's, it's truly sad, but they had time. Um, they had opportunities and options and they didn't take the good options. They didn't change. They wanted to keep the addictions and see, this is why they want to live a life with you, a righteous life and keep the addictions. They don't work that way. You know, God will make people choose. That's, that's why these towers drop and you know, this person was a fool. Everybody knows this person is a fool with a capital F double O and capital L like a complete loser. This is an idiot. This is a person that chose the streets in the gutter over like a happy, safe, stable home environment. I feel like you guys see these people. As, I'm hearing goofy, like real goofy. Yes, and I see why. You guys are the one that got away. You guys could have been their true love. You love them the most. You love them the best. You're always a good listening ear. You guys gave great advice. So much warmth and affection surrounds you, Taurus. You guys just did not deserve this. You're the one that got away and they have to live with that. That they traded the best for the rest and the rest don't even, they don't even get close to equaling one of you. They lost the one that was taking them to the next level. The one who would have cooked and cleaned and fed them. Not just physically. A lot of you guys are excellent cooks. But you fed them emotionally, mentally, from a true heart space, true love. You're very protective over this person. Like when you love, you love for real. And these people who hurt you, they give false offers. They sold you a dream of this dream life. And we're going to do this. And we're going to travel here and go there and build this and help the homeless and feed the needy. And, you know, they, they, they served it on thick. And spirit and your spiritual team and God watched them. Watch them create nothing but bad karma for themselves so that it could ultimately fall on their head. And now their health is suffering. They have diseases and illnesses. Their body is being affected because some demons is running through them. It's truly sad. Some of them need to be in a mental institution as well. Not just medical, but, um, you know, I'm here like they need a therapist too. Desperately. Because this is giving narcissists vibes. Somebody is hiding a secret house. Or you guys may be hearing about somebody putting um, your name down on a home that you guys didn't purchase or something like that. So pay attention to email, your mail, and your bills. Because this, this is the season people get real fraudulent. They do it all year long. So do not be scammed by scam callers. Don't give people your personal information, especially like your social security number and different things of that nature. If somebody wants to use you as a reference, make sure you guys find out who it is and what they are needing a reference for. No secrets play no games with these people, okay, at all. But somebody's hiding a secret hideaway, a secret house, a secret home, a secret family, something like that. There's some property here or some kind of bill where um, they're connected, but you're connected to this. They're hiding this from you or they're using your name for something. So find out and um, definitely, you know, involve the courts and stuff. Find out what the laws are, you know, to protect yourself in case it comes up, you can say, yes, I did file a report for this and keep your information, make copies, send a copy to people you trust, your daughter, your son, have them hold on to a copy just in case something comes up. You guys definitely have these copies for yourselves because false credit is here as well. It's telling me somebody lied about their credit card history or their balances, banking information, and also they used your good name 
so that they could take the credit. So maybe you guys did all the work in a relationship. You were the parent that felt like the only parent, but they came around and smiled and, you know, took the picture with a big smile and put on the dad, you know, sweater or put on the mom sweater and held the mom of the year mug when you guys were the mothers of the years or the fathers of the years, or you guys had to be both when they were not there, but they came around for the smiles, for the credit. Okay. Definitely keep an eye on your credit. So in your, in your information, Oh, oh, excuse me. When in regards to the camera, it's turning. Yeah. This person feels inferior. They really do. It's like, you got ahead without them. You guys are making major moves in life without them. You're persevering. You've outgrown them. You guys are growing individually, spiritually, emotionally, in every way possible. These immature people chose not to grow up. You know, they sold their soul for temptations. Okay. They're about that street life. That street life only comes with a downfall. People crash in that street life. They crash and burn. It never ends well. They let their temptations, their desus, their I'm hearing desus, desus, I'm hearing desires and lust both want to come out. Their desires, their lustful, sinful nature, they let it take control of them. They completely lost control and chose the streets, sleeping with any and everybody. And that ended up with them having an unwanted pregnancy. They may have tried to deny the kids you guys have with them. Or they acted like they wanted this family life. And when they got it, they didn't support you. If the child came first, they didn't step up to be there. They weren't there at recitals or, you know, involved heavily in the planning like they should have been. They were never fully 100% committed and devoted to you and your family. And this is evil and it's wrong. And it's because some of them do have a secret house. They were running to a secret family, the mistress or the guy on the side guy and the side chick and the side dude, just craziness. This person is not loyal. They're not faithful. You are, you guys deserve a loyal, loving partner. You guys are onto what's next. You are the best one for them. They're getting this message too. They hang around untrustworthy souls, distorted friends. People who amplify their wounding, feed to their temptations of drugs, alcohol, loose men, loose women. They feed into that. Let's go do that. Let's go do this. Let's go over there. Fighting, back and forth, highs and lows, jumping on each other, um, just trifling life, games. You have no time for this. You guys have found your independence. You found your wings. You see this person as a complete fool. And you know that God will bless you with better. You know, every battle don't need to be fought, especially when God is claiming you guys have won. You guys won the war. They have to watch you win. They're going to watch you build a dynasty. I'm hearing an empire without them and do well. You guys want friends that you can actually trust. You don't want to be around people you can't call on. They can only call on you. These people are very biased and one-sided. You're the one that got away and they have to live with that forever. That is a hard one to deal with. Because nobody will ever equal you. And everybody they get or deal with, they're looking for that piece of you in it. But nobody fits the full picture in the puzzle. Nobody can fit your shoes, your picture, your puzzle. You're the real deal. You guys are the real deal, McCoy. You guys are the real deal. And they threw it away for trifling offers and temptation. And with unwanted pregnancy here, some of them may have got the side um, person pregnant. Okay, they got the side woman pregnant. And then they didn't want the child or was claiming the child's not theirs. Claiming you were the cheater. You were for the streets. When it's all backfiring. If you guys have to do paternity tests, do them. And make sure their family members see the truth. Don't sit back arguing and going back and forth. Once you've made your stance clear, one time, clearly, to the point. That person is the father. That's it. Don't go back and forth. Don't cry over these people. They're not worth your tears. They're not worth your time. You know what you've done and have not done. If you're not sure, stand on that. Stand on your story or your side. Stand on your truth. People don't have to like it, but stand on that. But I feel like you guys knew. You guys knew. You guys know who the father of your child or children are. And it's sad that this person truly failed you and they failed the kids. They should have showed up to games. They should have been outside playing with you guys or sitting at the table, eating dinner, 
just you weren't even asking for this every day. Just sometimes be involved, show up. They were so withdrawn and emotionally unavailable. Then it turned into being physically unavailable. They were always on the move, always on the run. Got to go, got to go. I, I'm hearing somebody ask, where did they go? Where are they? Gone. Can't sit still. Most narcissists can't because they're not happy sitting still. They're not good with themselves. Sitting still means to reflect, to truly see life. They don't want to see life. Life for them is like cars on the freeway 24 hours a day. That's how it is in their head. Okay. Now, I'm not a doctor. You guys can go to therapists and, you know, dig in medically speaking as you choose. I'm basing this on what I'm ordained to know, what I have experienced for decades, what I've seen. These people truly need help. And I wish to God it was forced. And I think laws are going to be changing to help these people, you know, get the help that they need. You know, families should be able to get involved and say, hey, we've all done these interventions. We see this person spiraling out of control. We love them. We want them to succeed. You guys have done interventions. I'm saying you guys have recommended doctors and healthcare staff and professionals. These people refuse to get the help that they need. They refuse treatment. They don't go all the way through it. They pretend to. They start off, for some of them, they start off going, it's all a facade. It's a mask. It's fake. And once you guys see them for who they are, you're done. You're spent. You're tired. You're like, this fool's going down. And unfortunately, a lot of them do have to hit rock bottom to, to get to the top. And that's if, you know, God even permits them to do it. So they usually do have to hit rock bottom and end up in jail or end up in a hospital or in a situation that cannot be fixed unless God fix it. And this is where they are. They are in the predicament now. Some things cannot be fixed. A lot of them need a lot of medication, a lot of treatment, and even that may not be enough. And they did it to themselves for being fake. This was a true snake, sneaky fox trickster, a complete rat. This is a rat stuck in their own trap. You're not making any more sacrifices. You're done. You guys are focusing on your kids, your family, your purpose, your legacy, honoring God, staying true to your morals and values. You will be blessed. Build. Build off your pain. Build that empire. Make ways, make moves. I wish you all so much abundance. Okay, Taurus, this has been your reading for the mid-month of November, year 2023. I hope the messages in this karma reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all so much happiness, so much love and perseverance and stability, all that good stuff. And like I said, so much abundance. I wish that for you guys. Have a wonderful, awesome, happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. And have an awesome month of November, the remainder for those who don't. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Taurus.